Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 31st, and today was a beautiful day, most of the day. Um, had a little bit of rain, um, kind of a weird part, but got this morning um, fairly early, way earlier than I like to get up, but like only 30 minutes earlier than what I normally get up, so it is what it is. Um, got up this morning about 6, um, pretty much got up put on my uh, running clothes and went for my run. I want to get my run done, so make sure my run streak stays alive, all that good fun stuff. Um, went and got that taken care of bright and early this morning. Uh, took the dog with me and stuff. Bruce got a little running going on there. From there, um, got back to the house, got a shower, um, grabbed donuts for breakfast, uh, finished getting the car loaded up, loaded up the cooler with some you know, ice and stuff, so I have some cold soda when I get down to the port, drop the stuff off and all that good fun stuff that goes with it. Um, drove on down, leave that door open all the way, please, if you could. Thank you. Um, went ahead and um, found where we were going down at Port Canaveral. I actually went and dropped Bruce off, dropped him off at the Sutter. From there, I um, headed back to the house, got Karen to finish getting everything thrown in the car. Uh, took off, dropped off Bruce to Sutter. Everything went great there. Um, their yard is ate up with mosquitoes. It's crazy also. But it's so bad. She actually has a giant fan in the front of the door. So when she goes in and out, she turns the fan on, helping blow the mosquitoes out of her door so they won't come in the house. So um, got that taken care of. I'm back at Karen. We headed out. Um, stopped at a Walmart on the way. We had to get a new hair clip for Karen and a couple of little things we wanted to pick up that we got taken care of real quick. Got to our location. We found out where we wanted to be um, for our, um, I guess, transport from where we are going to park and then right over to the um, ship. Went and made a deposit at the bank because um, our bank wasn't open when we left too, too early before the bank was open. Got that taken care of, all that fun stuff. Um, got to the place that it didn't say they run every half an hour. It just kind of said, hey, whenever you're here, we'll take you over the port. And we was literally um, two minutes past, it was like two minutes past the takeoff time, like the van left. And then we got in the van, like as soon as we're ready to go, we'll take you. And they're like, okay. Half an hour goes, but they're like, they came out like, oh, we're only run every half an hour. I'm like, okay told me that when I first pulled in, I would have rushed an extra two minutes and been on that boat, or that container, but it's all good. So hung around there, talked to the people working there a little bit, walked around a little bit, um, and got to the port. Um, Karen gave away my last donut, kind of a rude thing to do, but one of the guys handling the bags and stuff, um, as she was getting off the um, van, kind of handed me the box, he goes, oh, I get some donuts, and she's like, oh yeah, here you go, and I'm like, that was my donut, but it's all good. So we ate um, all the donuts, but one of the dozen that we bought. Um, Two days ago, yesterday, I don't know. It was way too, way too recently. We ate way too many donuts, but wanted to see if we get them done. Um, flying on the boat, it's just everything here kind of seems like it's just a cluster. I don't know how we're gonna be so poorly. Nothing's labeled, nothing's organized. Um, nobody seems to know where they're going, and they act like we all like are here every day. We should know what it is. The employees don't know what's going on, so it is not the greatest thing in the world. I'm guessing there's a lot of union involved in this. The way the employees were acting, so. We finally got on the boat, uh, got through check-in. We were told, go over here, no, go over here, no, go over here, and just go stand by your loading zone, 11, whatever, 12 we's at, and like, there's no markers for that. There's markers like one through nine, and then nothing else, and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. So we finally got on the boat, got that all taken care of. Um, couldn't get to our room until 1.30 when they are gonna open up our room or give us a key to our room anyway. So we're carrying around, I've got a, um, 24 cans of soda in my bag. Karen's got a couple bottles of wine and the rest of her stuff in there. So we're carrying on a lot of weight, you know, and um, kind of explore the boat a little bit, but it's not the greatest thing to walk around carrying this giant, you know, 24 cans of soda all the time. Ended up going near the um, rear of the boat and just sitting there in, in port, uh, having a beautiful time. Got myself my first cigar on the boat, which was good. Still had cell signal, all that good fun stuff. Um, got into our room, got everything dropped off, got everything taken care of, went to the mustard, the drill learn where our life, um, how to put on a life vest also, uh, which is funny, so the ones they showed us how to use are not the ones that they give us. The ones we have in our room are completely different than the ones they showed us how to use. So hopefully they're pretty similar. I've used life vest in the past, it can't be that hard. So from there, um, we basically um, did a little run around, grabbed a buffet, um, knocked out some food real quick, which wasn't bad at all. Um, just new foods, a lot of things we've never tried, so we're trying all kinds of little things, just a tiny serving of each, because we're wanting to try a lot of different foods. We also end up having um, the Guy Fieri's um, burger um, joint they have here. We got a couple of burgers and stuff. So the fries were good. The burgers were, they were fine. They weren't great, but they were fine. The fries were delicious though. I was a really big fan of the fries. Um, drank a lot of lemonade, all that good fun stuff. Ended up catching um, two separate comedy shows. We ended up at the restaurant. 
as our actual set down restaurant and the food was was very good i had um i think mine was better than karen's but we kind of split up a little bit had each i had this uh sweet and sour shrimp she had the braisin uh what you have braisin what is it braised brisket yeah braised braised biscuit beef brisket um ended up talking to a um, couple who were um that were next to us stuff they're just found out they're pregnant um she's 20 weeks along i think she said and so she's chilling out there and stuff too which is pretty cool we talked to them a little bit um just meeting people here and there on the boat nothing real major try to do a um tasting for some i guess some whiskeys or something some kind of alcoholic beverage and some cakes and whatnot and it was supposed to start at 6 30 we're out there and stuff and we don't know what's going on we have no idea nobody's there finally one of the people bang on the door to find out why we're not in there you know open it up to have stuff set up and the guy was extremely rude and not very like understand what the hell is going on he's like well we're not doing it we can't do it now they won't let us do it now we'll announce the radio when we can't do it and we're like okay whatever then we find out there was a medical emergency and we had to turn around about an hour and a half out of port which is where the casinos and stuff could have been open before that and they had to turn around head back to port and remove somebody from the boat we don't know what happened we have no idea so three and a half hours after we left port we we're back in port again waiting to get ready to leave again so our um our cruise was kind of a weird cruise. So then we had cell soon again. We did made some calls, um, all that good fun stuff. Finally pulled out of port, got the little horn blow again. When you pull out of port, I guess they blow the horn every time. Um, headed back out. And then, unfortunately, because we lost a lot of time, instead of doing 10 mile an hour cruising nice and peacefully, just moseying along, we're now rocking at like 23 or 24 mile an hour, and the boat's kind of just shaking a lot more. Like it's really kind of they're just powering under full power to get where we're going so we can wake up in you know the Bahamas in the morning so it is what it is um, like I said we caught two different comedy shows um, had a good time I ended up winning a bottle of champagne and a uh, ship on a stick which I swear the guy says shit on a stick he has he's an Australian guy has a very Aussie accent and we had a good time and that was like a little trivia question that I was able to answer correctly out of the room of people that didn't get the right answer and um, so I got an extra bottle of champagne which is funny so we got one for our wedding and we don't really drink champagne so karen's probably gonna drink it on the trip we'll see what happens here so went ahead um chilled out just kind of hung around um ended up down here back in the room um after the last comedy show uh karen stayed here got a shower and i think napped a little bit and i decided to go out and get myself another cigar and it was beautiful weather it's like 77 degrees like that it's absolutely gorgeous when we went back to port for the medical situation we got caught in a bunch of rain so it really kind of put a damper on a lot of the fun everything pools and stuff kind of got pushed back out away from the rain and stuff because you can't sit by the deck and watch the pool and whatnot and the rain is just not as much fun so i had my second cigar on the boat already um came back in um, karen had trouble figuring out how to turn the shower off it was kind of funny so we had a good little laugh there um, just a lot of drunk people out now it's like i don't know probably two in the morning now something like that 236 actually i guess it is but it was just there's a ton of drunk people i grabbed um half a pizza and came back to the room it's like a mushroom and something on hell it even was um decent they are overcooking it they're burning the damn crust there was like four people in front of me that refused their pizza because it was so damn burnt and the guys like just keeps burning them bring them out i'm like what the hell it doesn't make any sense but i got that all taken care of and now we're just kind of chilling here talking um listening to a little bit of tom and dad and podcast and gonna call it tonight so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.